Yeah, so just family, siblings, uh, um, all of that. Alright, so um, I'm Devin. I'm from South Oregon, uh, South Medford. I have five siblings. I have one that's overseas. He's playing his fourth season uh, in Cyprus. I have a younger one who plays volleyball. I got two younger brothers. Uh, a little, a little too young to mention, but um, my family's from Mexico, and my dad's, dad's from Jamaica. Okay, gotcha. So do you have any sort of uh, citizenship, like dual citizenship uh, to this country? No, I haven't. I don't have a U.S. citizenship. Uh, I could, but I decided not to do it. Gotcha, gotcha. Did you ever dive into uh, like maybe playing uh, for some of the national teams? or? Uh, I've been really thinking about playing with the Mexico national team. The Jamaica doesn't have a basketball right. team, but I'm looking at Mexico, but I kind of decided to back out. Okay. Did you other did you play any other sports growing up, or has it just been basketball? Uh, I've been playing football. Uh, football was always my first sport up until uh, my seventh, eighth grade. And I broke my foot seventh grade playing basketball, and I sat out my eighth grade year of football, and then I skipped freshman year, and then I played sophomore year, but I only played half a year and quit because. I just realized it wasn't for me anymore, so I just focused on basketball since then. Okay, basketball kind of supplanted it as, mm -hmm. as your new love a little bit. Um, yeah. So kind of for those who haven't seen you play, just describe the game. What are some of your strengths that way? Um, I'm a really good defender. Um, I can guard one through five. Um, I, I'm a really good slasher. Shooting, if, I, if I'm open, I'm going to hit it. I can create off the bounce. Um, I'm a, a really good playmaker. I can dish the ball. And I'm really, I do the little things. I like to hustle, I like to take charges, I like to do anything to make my team win. That's it, what's some uh, areas of improvement right now? Uh, I've been really improving, you know, the consistency of my shooting, um, you know, uh, pull up jumpers, threes, you know, coming off screens, pulling up, uh, ball handling, and just overall IQ playing. Okay, and what about some underrated aspects of your game? Um, ooh, underrated one. I, I definitely think it's my defense. Uh, I mean, I always I can block the ball, I can jump out the gym, but no one really just like if you put me in front of somebody, I can lock them down. A whole possession um, onwards, I can you know, like I said, I can guard one through five, no matter who it is. You can put me, you can put me on the best player, and I'll still go out there and say you're not the best. I am, and I'll lock you up. Right, uh, you're a power athlete. Um, does that kind of run in the family a little bit? No, actually, a lot. It's a lot more smoothness. I'm the only one with the power athlete right now. Uh, my brother's always been smooth. He wasn't. He doesn't have the structure that I do, and uh, I'm kind of blessed to have the structure I do. Uh, so I can really just power the, anyone that's a mismatch. But you know, I have a little bit of smoothness to me. Gotcha. Um, so just kind of describe uh, this past season for you in high school. Uh, ooh, it's been a fun one. Um, we've been, you know, we were undefeated until we went to uh, the state tournament. We lost first round to Westland. Uh, and uh, we could have easily decided not to, just to fall out and just, you know, settle for sixth place, but we didn't. We went out far hard, and we finished up with fourth place, and uh, that's all I can say is I'm really happy about my season. Um, for my senior season, I'm really, really proud of my guys. And uh, diving into your recruitment a little bit, just what's the latest with that? Um, just a bunch of uh, JUCO colleges. I have, um, I have a D3 and a D2, a couple of D2s looking at me. Uh, it's kind of slow, you know, as a transfer portal, but other than that, it's kind of picking up here and there and kind of has little jumps. Brad, what are you, uh, like, you know, what would you look for in a school of choice? The culture. Um, and, you know, culture's everything. It's the right fit. If the culture's right, like your family culture, that's, that's for me. And, you know, uh, coaches, the development aspect. You know, my dream is to always go play pro. And if you can help me go out there and play pro and winning games and, you know, Going, waiting for championships, and, and then go off from there, play to a higher ceiling. Then that's the right fit for me. Would you consider uh, you know, going post grad or reclass or anything like that? Uh, sadly, I can't reclass um, because I already have an El Oregon I'm not uneligible for a basketball. But I I think about playing post grad. But honestly, I think the right fit should be for me to go to college, just right out the gate. Gotcha. So. Perhaps would you look to go to like a college academically and maybe walk on at a bigger school or something like that? No, uh, the whole the whole idea was to get a full ride scholarship. So if it, if it's a JUCO, to you know, college is college and, and ball is ball. You know, I want my school to get paid for. I don't want my mom paying a single dime. So the whole aspect is like you know, getting my full ride scholarship, taking any I can, and pursuing my dream. And how do you see your role at the next level? 
Uh, definitely a playmaker. I know I'm, you know, a guy that you need if you need to score. That's me. And uh, definitely a guard. I'm not gonna be a forward like I've been playing all these years. And that's what I've been working on is those guard skills. And um, so my role would be, you know, ball handler, you know, shooter. But you know, but if you need me to post down, I got you. Gotcha. Um, so off the court, just kind of, you know, outside of basketball, you know, what are some of your interests that way? Ooh, interests. Um, I'm a big drawer. I draw a lot when I'm, I'm on free time, um, play video games, you know, hang out with the family. I'm a big family guy. And, um, you know, just kind of really just chill out and really don't do much uh, but other than basketball, eat, sleep, basketball, family, video games, and drawing. Okay, much. what type of stuff you like to draw? Oh, I can draw anything. I can draw self portraits, cars. I, you know, I've I've dabbled in drawing comics one time, but then I kind of stopped because it took too much time. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you had uh, you know, four words to describe yourself, uh, what do you feel like those four words would be, and, and why? Uh, of my game or as a person? Just as a person on the court, off the court. Oh, uh, so know. as a person, I'll say you know, charismatic. You know, I'm really talking to person. I like being really friendly to people. I like to make connections. To and uh, you know, you know, confident. You know, just, like you see, like I'm always like, if I miss, I, you know, I'm not gonna hit my head down. Or, you know, I, I think that stuff's gonna go in. And I'm like, I get on myself because you know I'm confident that I can make that. And if I don't make that, it's kind of the hell. And um, family, family orientated. Like I said, I'm a, fa a big family guy. I really love hanging out with my family. And last one is pretty much, you know, peace. Like you know, I'm very peaceful. I like to make sure everybody's. You know, at peace, not too chaotic, and you know, it's very much what I say. And uh, to conclude, just five years from now, ideally, where do you see yourself? Five years from now, mm, I see myself playing the pro. I honestly, I have every you know attribute to play in the pro league. You know, I can see myself. I play with pros all the time here. When I when I stay with my brother up in Portland, I go to the pro runs. I can I can really run with them. So you know, it's scary that I'm a senior. I'm still in high school, and I can do that. Imagine five years from now, with all that development. So I, I can totally see myself playing pro. I know. I appreciate it. Thank you.